Looking more relaxed and fit than he has in a long time, Orenthal James Simpson walked into his parole hearing with a smile on his face and for the first time showed signs of remorse. Are you humbled by this incarceration? Oh, yes, for sure. As I said, I wish it would have never happened. It was a conviction of kidnapping and armed robbery in 2008 after O.J. and some associates went to a Nevada hotel room to retrieve items he said were stolen from him. He was sentenced to between 9 and 33 years in jail, and the juice became a number. 1027820. To qualify for parole, he became a model inmate, taking a course called Alternatives to Violence and helping resolve conflicts within the jail. I realized in my nine years here that I was a good guy on the street. I'm sure when Bruce Kennedy, you will tell you, I was always a good guy. But I could have been a better Christian, and my commitment to change it was to be a better Christian. Well, he'll get his chance to prove it, because the parole board voted unanimously to set one of the most infamous inmates in America free. My vote is to grant your parole effective when eligible. Thank you. You've got no time to waste. The man known as the Juice was a bigger-than-life figure in America, a football star turned actor who was accused in 1994 of killing his ex-wife and her friend. His arrest was seen by millions. The White Bronco chase was televised live, and his subsequent trial became must-see cable TV. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of the crime of murder. He was eventually found not guilty, but later was found liable for the deaths in a civil suit and was ordered to pay $33 million to the families of the victims, of which he's reportedly paid less than 1%. To this day, he maintains his innocence. I've basically have spent a conflict-free life. Once he's released in October, which would be the end of his nine-year sentence, he said he'll live in Florida to be near his children. He wants to live a quiet life, away from the media and the spotlight that he used to crave. But in the social media age, it's unlikely we've seen the last of the now 70-year-old juice. Mike Trelay, Global News, Toronto.